Okay, in this course we're gonna learn about joint creation operators like uh, combine, lenses, concat, fork join, merge, uh, partition, and raise and zip. So, if you're ready, let's get started. Okay, here we have a uh, operator of Eric J's combined lists. The latest. <coughs> uh, there is no parameters, um, so you have a pass it any here, uh, and you can use like. Uh, uh, if you have a two observable two stream you can uh, combine with the combine la latest uh, operator uh, whenever any input observable emits a value it computes a formula using the last late latest values from all the inputs then emits the output of the formula Here we have an image which, uh, which uh, you can uh, see that we have two observable and with the combined lessons operator we have a uh, array uh, from this observable combined array uh, and here we have a good example uh, we have a weight height uh, two stream two observables and uh, 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 we want to calculate a body mass index um, <coughs> so use map operator to dynamically calculate body mass index so uh, with combined list uh, latest uh, uh, we, uh, we combine it two array here a uh, two observable uh, like this and with a pi pipe we will calculate with a map uh, we have array and we divide uh, like this and with this for uh, we'll, uh, with this result we will uh, subscribe to BMI and we will show result in uh, console log so let's open stack blitz mass index for these uh, for these data and if you want to use um, combine lights you can use for combine to observable into one and you will get array as a result of these observables so that's all thank you Okay, next operator is a concat, and here we have all information here. <laughs> so uh, there is no parameters. Uh, what is a concat? Concat operator takes several observables and creates a combined observable. Uh, I can show this with a simple example. Uh, let's imagine we have a three observable. Uh, we can uh, create with the uh, off operator this is the first and the second and the third so with the concat we, we will get uh, observable with combined of these three observable like this so I refresh this like this if you have uh, some 
APIs or any requests to the server you can combine with the concat it's useful and you can start with start to use this concat map in your project okay the next operator is a fork join and is a you can use uh, if you have a two or three or more than a request for the server and you need to wait until one is complete or first one or second one you can use this for join operator is uh, wait for observables to complete and the combined last value they emitted complete immediately if an empty array is passed here you can see we have a in this image three observable with a fork join you have a uh, one observable which uh, will wait uh, or if first is completed then uh, it begins the second one so uh, with a simple example if we have a, here we can all open with the stack blades <coughs> and okay we have a uh, observable uh, which we will get uh, numbers and a promise with the resolve eight and the timer and how it work it looks uh, first array and after the four second eight uh, something like this in the complete we got a message like this because um, from uh, first uh, observable we get a four and second is eight with a resolve and uh, with the timer we get uh, zero and we, uh, we have an array here and for join will uh, return us uh, observable is this value and that said it's very useful uh, when you need to wait some uh, request will finish and then start uh, other thank you uh, okay uh, next operator is a merge and you can use a merge a merge operator to if you want to merge two observable here here we have a uh, image if you, if you want to merge two observable and uh, uh, as a result you want to get uh, one completely observable from uh, two of these observable you can use a merge and uh, it will uh, return value just like this Flatten multiple observable together by blending their values into one observable. So merge subscribes to each unit input observable as arguments and a simple forwards without doing any transformation all the values from all the input observables to the output observable. The output observable only completes once all input observables have completed. Any er error delivered by an input observable will be immediately emitted on the output observable. So I have a let's we have example. Uh, imagine we have a two interval, the first and the second. We can use interval from NXJS, and uh, uh, in a pipe we will use a merge. Uh, first to second just like this and we will subscribe and we will show the uh, value in the console log I will clear and I will start refresh this page 0 1 0 2 1 3 1 just like this because we uh, we have an interval 2.5 seconds and the second interval is uh, one second so it's it, it 
was just like this and we have uh, the declaration that was marked as deprecated here but in this documentation we don't have uh, deprecation note so it's, you can use this merge merge operator uh, for <coughs> merging to observable thank you okay in the next operator is a partition operator uh, splits the uh, source observable into two uh, one with the uh, values that satisfy a uh, predicate and another with the values that doesn't satisfy the predicate so uh, it's like a filter but returns the two observable one like the output of a filter and uh, the other with the uh, values that didn't pass a uh, condition Just, uh, for example we have uh, here the image with odd and even numbers if we use a partition with uh, this <coughs> uh, calculation for odd and even you know, we get uh, two observable uh, from a partition operator uh, we have an example here let's open it so stack blades you can see that first it will show us uh, odd numbers one three five then it will go with the events two four six the we have a we can uh, create one observer from off operator like this uh, and uh, after this uh, with a partition operator we can uh, divide two by two and we will get <coughs> Two observable and odd events, and uh, we subscribe. We can uh, publish this just like this. They were useful when you want to get uh, two observable with some condition. So that's it. Uh, okay, second, uh, next operator is a race. So uh, race is used to select an observable sequences that is the uh, first to produce the values. As soon as uh, one of the sequences starts emitting value, the other sequences are unsubscribed and completely ignored. So I have a small example here. For example, we have a four interval and we want to get the uh, first one uh, which will uh, give us a value uh, we have a uh, one second interval and it will always be first inside these observables for example you have uh, some request to the server and you want to get the first uh, stream or first observable from uh, uh, five or four or more observables and you can use a race to get uh, to know about uh, which one will give you first uh, value and uh, if you have uh, some condition for this you can use and ignore all other observables just like this now if I, if I refresh we have always First, first, if we have a, a, another interval give us a value, it will ignore it, and we always get the first observable which give us a value. That's it. So uh, next operator is zip operator, uh, and zip operator wait. Uh, until until every stream emits a value and then 
it emits an array which contains value from every of this stream if you have a three uh, observable you can uh, use a zip like this and you will get a uh, output of uh, uh, all these observable in one array just like this you, if you have a for example if you have a ages names and uh, is to have the boolean values uh, we will we can use a zip uh, with this observable in a with a map uh, with a pipe and a map we will uh, <coughs> return as a object just like this for every uh, value inside uh, this array let's let's see in stackblitz.com so okay I will get from an array here enough well, with a map operator we'll get all object like this beer bar foo dev is true then it's a uh, just like this it's very useful when you want to uh, zip <laughs> uh, two or three or more observables into one array that's it The next operator is Ajax. Uh, Ajax it creates an observable for an Ajax request with either a request object with URL headers or string for URL. It's a very simple and useful operator. Uh, it's uh, work just like this Ajax URL. <coughs> After your pipe, you can uh, handle with a map. Uh, in this example, it shows uh, with a console log all value here. Use a response, and you can use a catch error for error. And with a subscribe, you can get next value with a success or error value with error. The console log. Let's open this in a stack lids. So here Okay, here we go. We get the uh, console log and Ajax response loaded and response array as objects. If you want to use a, a Ajax request, you can use this operator Ajax. It's so very simple to use. That's all, thank you. Next operator is Differ. Mm. Differ allows you to create an observable only when you the observe when the observer subscribes. It waits until an observable subscribe to it. it calls the given factory function to get an observable. So you can see this image here diagram show us that uh, we can create observable in the description also wrote that creates observable Leslie that is only when it is subscribed so So 
let's look in the example here we have a example that uh, we have uh, in a differ we uh, decide the differ we turn the mass random and if uh, value is more than uh, <coughs> 0 0.5 uh, we will get uh, from event click we can uh, click and uh, if not we get interval uh, number uh, every second after this we will subscribe here and uh, show uh, the value in a console the result in the following behavior if the result of a mass random is greater than 0 0.5 it will listen or clicks anywhere on the document when it gets is called it uh, when the document is clicked it will lock a mouse movement object to the console if the result less than the uh, 0 0.5 it will emit extending numbers one every second let's open this so let's refresh let's save save and refresh try okay it's working and if I not click it's working now so so as it said if you need to create observable you can use differ so okay here we go an example let's try not one second here and call 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 let's try to click 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 and every time I got less than the five less than the half value so let's try this it's it's like this and if you need to create and if you want to use a differ it's very useful to create a differ and it will subscribe when uh, it will work when uh, <coughs> it will subscribe it by observer that's it thank you so next operator in the list empty let's open and we have deprecation nodes replace it with the uh, empty uh, constant or scheduled and it will be removed in version 8 so um, uh, let's jump to another operator thank you okay next operator is a from and from creates an observable from an array an array like object a promise an iterable object or an observable like object so converts almost anything to observable here we have an image that uh, we can use from operator and put here array and we will get observable with these numbers from converts various other objects and data types into observables it also converts a promise and uh, a real like or an iterable object into an observable that emits uh, items in that promise array or iterable a string in the context is uh, treated as an array of characters Observer like object contains a function name and, uh, with uh, ES15 symbols for observable. Can also be converted through this operator, and it's a very uh, simple example converts an array to observable. Here we have an array like this, and we can use 
from operator and uh, we can uh, subscribe like observable and use this array like observable so in the logs we can get these values also we can uh, convert an infinite iterably from generator to an observable just like this with uh, we have uh, this function here and we uh, we can uh, add <coughs> the value here and with iterator constant we will put uh, from operator and we will get rid this result let's open this one okay <clears throat> that's it set if you have for example if you have uh, some names of uh, persons or any array or number array and you want to use uh, these array uh, like observable you can just use this uh, lxjs operator from and it will work so that's it it's very useful operator uh, if you want to uh, use this in your example let's try uh, to create some uh, example yourself thank you okay next operator from event mm. creates an observable from a DOM events or not just event emitter events or other if you want to use if you want to create observable with events, click it or mouse move or uh, and other things, you can use from event operator. Uh, from event accepts as a first argument ev uh, event target, which is an uh, object with a method for registering event handler function. As a second argument, it takes strings that indicate type of event we want to listen for so here target a name options just like this result selector optional default is undefined so here we have a, a image uh, and uh, you can uh, put here this <coughs> first argument event target then a name with a string and you will get observable is this uh, type <coughs> so here we have uh, more description here and we have uh, example emit clicks happening on the DOM document we have a from event and here we document and we have a click event and we can uh, subscribe this with a console log result in mouse mouse event object logged to console every time a click occurs on a document let's open this okay and I will try to click to the window let's wait it to refresh so okay, small smooth event. Okay, just like this. It's very useful when you want to work with uh, events. So that's it. Okay, next operator is interval creates an observable that emits a sequential a number array specified uh, interval of time on a specified schedule of light mm, so emits incremental numbers periodically in time uh, we have an image here that uh, is a full 
every time we can uh, publish <coughs> where we go uh, just like just in, in this image interest returns and observables that emits an infinite sequence of uh, ascending inti integers with a constant interval of time uh, of your choosing between uh, those uh, emissions the first emission is uh, not sent immediately but only after the first period has passed by default this operator uses async uh, schedule like to provide notion of the time but you may pass a schedule like to it you may pass. <coughs> so we have uh, here an example Can you see that uh, the constant numbers uh, get a value from an interval operator and every second, and the take uh, for numbers with a five, uh, and the take operator we will give a four here, and we will subscribe, and here we go. We have zero, one, two, three. If you, it's very really useful when you want to um, some int make some create interval. You can use this ArcGIS operator. Thank you. Okay, next operator is off, and we have a deprecation node. The scheduler parameter will be removed in version eight. Use schedule it. Uh, you can. Uh, if you want to go to the uh, this link, you, you can uh, copy or uh, Google it, this link for schedule argument. Uh, how work or oh, work of operator? Each argument become a next notification. So if we have. Um, uh, in this image we have a uh, three number and then every next uh, value is uh, this uh, numbers I like from it does not any flattening and emits each argument in a wall uh, as a separate next notification so here we have example with the three numbers here with inside of operator and we will subscribe this and we will get first 10 and uh, after this 20 so on and uh, open this example and we have a second one with emits array and we will get only one array here because we uh, return as array this value so here here you can see that every next value is uh, these three numbers that's it for creating or uh, using observable with array or numbers or anything with a string you can use off operator but we have a deprecation node, it will be removed in version 8. So that's it.